Hi guys, I'm gonna jump straight into what I wanna say. Anytime I get on here, it's for one reason. It is to bring encouragement and love and light to you, to your home, to your situation. And today I just feel the need, really feel the need to encourage somebody um, that has been receiving a lot of lies. You've been um, hearing a lot of lies on, on your mind. Uh, making you feel like this if if this is how you feel then you need to stay on here um, you're feeling like I'm always gonna feel like this I can never be happy I can never truly be free I'm always gonna be heavy um, I can never have the blessings that people talk about I'm stuck if you feel like that then you're the person that I need to talk to today and let you know that that is the only reason that you're hearing those lies. The battle, the, the Bible says that our battle is not against flesh and blood, Rosemary, right? <laughs> you're on there, I see you. But it's against darkness and principalities. So if you are hearing these lies today, that you are worthless, that you um, can't ever be more, that you're never gonna be able to make more money, that you're never gonna be able to get a house, that you're never gonna be able to be debt free, that you're never gonna be able to be fully free in your heart, in your mind, then that is a sign that the enemy is wanting to try to defeat you and kill you and keep you down so that you cannot press through. Um, and a lot of times when we are in spiritual battles, we don't realize it. And so we're fighting the air we're fighting the flesh we're fighting everybody that comes around us we're fighting in our relationships we're fight fighting in our families we're fighting with our kids we're fighting with our bosses we have problems on our job it's all because there is an inward battle going on and we have not been trained properly to understand how to fight in the way we are being attacked so um, this Sunday I want you to come to the church reclaim church um, I'm going to share the link below, get on our page. And we are teaching people, uh, of course, the Word of God, but how to be effective in the fight. And um, so no longer, because the Bible says our battle, I just said this, but I'm going to say it again. The battle is not against flesh and blood, what you see with your eye, but it's against the principalities, spirits of darkness that we cannot see. Have you ever been in a fight with someone and you're just cutting each other and it's like you have a good point and you're really making sense and you're saying it well, but it's like it just goes through one ear and out the other and the same thing's happening to you and it's like you're missing one another and it's confusion and chaos. Have you ever been in one of those confrontations or drag outs? I have. And there is nothing more exhausting. And that's what the devil wants to do. He wants to exhaust you to the point where you give up and you say enough's enough, uh, where's my whiskey bottle or where's my, you know, whatever, and you're looking for relief. I get it, totally, you know, but the thing is, you gotta get this. The battle is not with what you're seeing. It is a spiritual battle. So you have, if you're being attacked spiritually, then you have to fight back spiritually. and. It's sad to say, but the body of Christ doesn't know how to do this. Um, you know, and of course, you know, we get up and we read our Bibles, but the, it's nothing's being rooted in our lives and it's not taking any effect. So it is so important that you get around leaders and people that can pull you up and help you to see and help you and train you, teach you how to fight. And that's what we want to do. So if you can't be there in person, be there live. I'm gonna probably just stream it from my phone because we don't have a lot of followers on our Facebook page yet. I, I went, um, I was off Facebook for like three or four months after my dad passed away. I just took a break and really just, I mean, God's been just pouring into me and I, it's just been a really good time for me. But now that I'm coming back on Facebook, I haven't had any activity, so People aren't seeing the post as much, and you know how how algorithms and all that works. So I need y'all's help to get the word out there, um, so I can get more until I can get more active. Um, but y'all, it's so important. It's like I need to get a big megaphone, and like when I was a cheerleader, and they're like, "Come on, y'all! Come on, everybody! Come on! Let's let's band together and let's fight this devil 
once and for all that has been trying to break your neck, break your back, and completely paralyze you in the spirit. It's time to get to fighting. And I and it and the thing is, I used to think you had to like go into crazy screaming fits against the devil and just just ah. <laughs> no. It is understanding the authority that you have in Christ and declaring devil I I do not receive this. I push it away. I renounce it in the name of Jesus. You have no power over me. And you guys, I have literally watched God free me and deliver me through this process. I, I have not had nobody's laid hands on me. Nobody. I mean, I'm sure people have been praying for me. My mama, you know, my other mama, both mamas. But I'm telling you, you have the power right here. If you have Jesus on the inside of you, you have the power through Christ Jesus to speak to these things and they have to flee. But this is the problem. When, when we're living in, if we're living in sin, then what happens is we'll start speaking to that devil and tell him to flee. And then we'll hear in our minds, oh, but remember what you did last night. So you think I'm going to leave? And then you get intimidated by that and you back off. And you're like, oh, you're right. And you just fall deeper into it. You guys, the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy. It's time, y'all. It's time to come together. It's time to be edified. And and let's, let's do this to, together. Let's kick some spiritual butt. I am ready. I am ready to see people victorious. That's why I, every week I'm saying, y'all, Y'all get ready for some blind eyes to open. Y'all, if, if, if it happened in the Bible, and it's happening now, y'all. Um, I'm seeing stuff going on in California. There, there's revival already breaking out where people are getting free from demons. They're getting cancers being dissipated. I mean, it's amazing, crazy, mind-blowing miracles that are happening. And I'm like, all right, Lord, if it's going to happen for them and there, it's going to happen for the people around here. I'm claiming it and I'm standing on the word. My husband and I, Doug, we are standing on the word. God has given me dream. I went two weeks in a row. I had a dream every night and every night it was uh, people would be lined up and we were going down the line praying and laying hands and people were getting healed instantly. And God's been showing me what he's getting ready to do. So if you want to take part in it, if, if you want to be free, this is not about building the kingdom of Christie. Woo! Heck no. I don't got time for that. I'm building the kingdom of God. And so if you want to be a part of it, and the way you can be a part of it too is, is get free. So just come on and get free, and then it's going to be contagious and spread on you so you can help free others. Amen? All right, so let's do this, y'all. I mean, we only got one life, so we might as well live it for Jesus and be happy so we can all go home together rejoicing. Amen? <laughs> all right, you guys. Well, share this video. Um, invite people to church this Sunday. Um, we're at the Dunford Rec Center in Mesquite. And um, I'll post the address again in our page below. But y'all, invite your friends. Bring some folks. Because the hunger, hungrier you are, the more that God can pour out. If you make your capacity big, then he can pour out more. The Bible is, uh, they, they pray in the Bible, Lord, enlarge my territory. God wants us to pray like that. Because when, when we enlarge and give him more space, he has more room to show up and fill. So let's do it together, you guys. I love you. I'm praying for you. I believe in you. And I believe God uh, wants to heal you. He wants to free you. He wants to free everybody uh, attached to you. He wants to um, release generational blessings in place of these generational curses that have been bugging you your whole life. Okay. And he don't want to free you just from the stuff that you have going on now. Like you need a car, you need this. No, he wants to free you so much more. He wants to free you from all these things that you've been living with. You're heavy and you're burned down. And sometimes you don't even know why. And you know what? I bet there is something generationally linked to that, that you need to ask, pray and ask God, Lord, show me what is this? So I'm, I'm going to be praying and believing for you. And y'all, let's do this thing together. Amen. See you soon. <laughs>